hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's pattern tutorial i'm going to be showing you an easy way to draft a two-piece color also known as a standing color so without wasting your time let's get to it so to begin i'm going to be using the following tools my tape measure my pattern paper my front and back borders blocks some pens and my pattern master which i'm going to be using for my curves and my straight lines these are the measurements i'm going to be using and my color draft is going to look exactly like this so before we can start drafting we need to measure our necklines so i'm going to be measuring from my shoulder point to my center back and center front now my bodice block was drafted with seam allowance so i'm going to minus that you can always overlap your bodice blocks and minus the seam allowance. And also, if your bodice block has a placket, you would need to measure that separately. So the first thing we need to do is to draw a vertical line, which is going to be our center back, and a horizontal line, perpendicular, which is going to be our neckline. So once I do this, I'm going to mark my center back. Next step is to draw our half neckline measurements. The first one is our shoulder point to the center back measurement. Mine is 7.5 centimeters. This is also going to be our shoulder notch. The second measurement is from our shoulder point to the center front. Mine is 12.5 centimeters. So to shape our neckline, we're going to go up by 90 degrees and measure 1.5 centimeters. Then we're going to use our pattern master or French curve to draw a curve line and it's going to meet halfway from the center back to the center front. So just around the middle. Now, if you don't have a French curve or a pattern master, you can always freehand it. So once we do that, this is going to be our new neckline. The next step is to draw the height of our neckband. So we're going to go up by 90 degrees, but slightly slant. This is because the neckline is curved. So once we do that, we're going to measure 2.5 centimeters. So depending on what look you're going for, it can be higher or lower. Next, we're going to do the same for the center back and measure 2.5 centimeters. Now we're going to connect the two points by drawing a straight line. So in order for us to have a consistent 2.5 centimeters measurement, what you can do is to measure 2.5 centimeters all through the neckline and then connect them by drawing a straight line. So for me, I'm just going to use my pattern master to draw my straight lines all through and then I'm going to use the curved part to shape it. So the next step is for us to draw the button stand. So if you remember at the beginning, I told you that you needed to measure your plaquette separately. So that's going to be our button stand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extend the neckline. And for my measurement is two centimeters. So I'm just going to draw a straight line by extending that neckline. And then I'm going to use my pattern master to draw a curve from the neckband the top of the neckband to the neckline. So you're just going to curve that out. Now, depending on what look you want, it might be straight, it might be curved, it might be zigzag, it doesn't really matter. This is your color and how you want to do it. So we're just going to go with the standard one. So the next step is to draw the top color, but we need to shape it first. So we're going to measure three centimeters upwards from the neckband. Then we're going to draw a horizontal line towards the middle where the color stand starts to curve. Then we're going to use our pattern master or French curve to connect the line to the center front. So while we're learning and drafting, please can I ask you to hit the subscribe button down below. You'll be supporting my channel if you do. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button. This encourages me to make more videos for you guys. Now we're going to put in the height measurement of our top collar. 
So mine is going to be 4.5 centimeters. It's up to you to determine how high or low you want your top color to be. Then we're going to draw a horizontal line up to where the lower color starts to curve. Then we're going to determine the shape of the top color. So depending on what kind of shape you're looking for, and then we're going to mark that point where we want it to reach. So once you mark that point, then you're going to connect the line. So once we're done drawing the lines, we're going to see that the two color pieces are touching. So we need to separate them. So what I'm going to do is to get new fresh pattern paper and then place it on top and then trace them out. So I'm going to carefully trace out my top color and make sure that the pattern paper doesn't move too much. If it does, I'm just going to move it back in place. So once I'm done, I'm going to move my pattern paper upwards and leave enough space between the two color pieces so I can draw in my color stand and also add in my seam allowance for both color pieces. So once I'm done, I'm going to put in my notches and my labels. I'm just going to label where the center front and center back is. So afterwards, I'm now going to put in my one centimeter seam allowance all through. So at this point, you just need to be careful and use your straight lines when you need to use them and your curves when you need to use them. So once you're done drawing in your seam allowance, you're going to have your full color ready for cutting. Now you're going to have to cut three pieces of each. Two, which is going to be from your fabric, and then the other one is going to be for your interfacing. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this pattern tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.